think in the traditional enterprise IT marketplace, your consultant has tended to be your personal shop. They're the people who've helped you buy stuff. But the cloud is not about buying stuff. And so the consultant marketplace now needs to think about new ways of adding value. You won't be paid a markup on what you spend on the hardware. That's not a, that's not a model that's going to have any real relevance in the cloud. In fact, the more things I can buy at lower and lower prices, I, it would be necessary for me as a consultant to be able to measure the value I'm adding because I'm not just going to be able to take a percentage markup and still make enough money to survive. I'm going to have to have a new measure of what my contribution is. And so it's important to me that people do not think of the cloud as being primarily a way to reduce IT cost because it is much more competitively interesting to think of the cloud as a way of creating superior IT value and creating important competitive advantage. So the service provider whose business is the composition of other services, that person is no longer as much of a technology consultant as that person now must be a business process consultant and a business opportunity consultant. Because the technology, when you think about it, is now going to be done in many respects for you. You will not, you will not bring dozens of people to the customer and say, we're here to install your servers. We're here to tune your database. We're here to optimize your network. Because these are not going to be things that the customer has done on the customer's own premises anymore. The servers will be maintained in a cloud provider's center. The network will be optimized in a cloud provider's network operations center. And the role of the consultant at the customer's office is going to be talking to the people who have and who own the business problem, understanding that problem, and identifying the information resources and the human resources that can best be brought to bear on that problem. The consultants who move up to that challenge will do very, very well. The consultants who are afraid of that challenge and try to continue to be the, the carpenters instead of the architects, they will not do as well. People often ask me if the IT department will be less important when the cloud becomes the dominant model. And I do believe the cloud will be the dominant model in most industries. I think it is already the dominant model for new projects and for many project optimizations. But our customers tell me that they are not downsizing their IT department. Most of them instead are downsizing their backlog. Now they are actually getting things done that have been on a list of things that it would be nice to do, sometimes for years. But now a meaningful prototype can be constructed in a few days and a, an application can be deployed and used in volume in a matter of weeks. And so they are tremendously excited because now their value to the organization is more visible than it has been before. When their job was to keep bad things from happening, it is hard to prove that you have done anything. But when your job shifts to making good things happen, your value is more apparent. And so I believe that the, the IT department that embraces the cloud is less likely to find itself downsized and outsourced because they will be active, visible partners to the business in a way that the traditional IT department has not. They will not be cavalry. They will be special forces. They will be doing more interesting things that create more value. And incidentally, the companies that do this will find that they are able to attract the best IT talent, while companies that continue to to manage their IT on the old model will find that the best talent doesn't want to work there because they will not be honing their skills, they will not be doing professionally meaningful work.